Right, hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Fantastic and this is just a quick video to show you how to download the OFL logos. Um, a lot of people have been asking, uh, well I've been using these Orcs and these Wood Elves, how to get the logos. And uh, there's quite a few of them. And um, they made them in OFL, Astro Spider made them in OFL. And uh, yeah, he's, he's made a few that can be used by any team. And he's made a few that are uh, exclusive to certain races as well. So it's quite easy. Uh, I've put the link in the description. So all you have to do is go to that link. And uh, the link will take you here. And then you just click download and save it somewhere. Like probably downloads or whatever. And then what I recommend you do after that is create a file like this. Uh, logo packs. I've called it with a backup one and the OFL one, and then put your OFL, the, the, the file that you download is 3D textures. So put that file in there, and then what you want to do with a backup is you want to locate your Blood Bowl 2 um, installation in Steam. In mine's in D, Steam. And once you get Steam, Steam apps, common Blood Bowl 2 data packages. And uh, as you can see there, 3D textures is there. So you can just copy that and then put that in your backup. Easy. And uh, and then take the one that you've just downloaded from that, that site, copy it, whack that straight into your packages there. And then you sort it and then you'll have the OFL pictures. And if you ever, you know, don't like them, or if you don't like them or you get bored of them, you can just switch it back to the old one. And if there's any problems like crashing or whatever, then at least you can fix that as well. So that's it, it's really simple. I can do it, so, <laughs> you know. But I thought it was, it was it was really, it's not because it's complicated, it's because a lot of people were asking me and I thought it'd be tedious to keep explaining it over and over again, because I felt like it's important that you make the backup and I didn't want to kind of explain all that every time. And I, you know, just drop the link without explaining it. So there you go, really easy, really quick. And uh, yeah, so you can have all the OFL logos and uh, some of them pretty good. And you know, hopefully th there is a way to create your own, right? So um, at the moment, for some reason, it's not working when I try to create my own logos. But once I get it working, maybe what I'll do is I'll make like my own um, logo pack. Oh yeah, the thing about these logos is only the person who has, the, the they see what they've got in their textures pack. So unless your opponent has downloaded the OFL pack, your opponent won't see it. They'll just see the base game one. So I was thinking what I can do is, so like everyone in OFL has it. So I was thinking what I'll do is when I can, uh, when I can edit them myself, I can make my own textures pack and make it like a community pack and then we can all download it. And then whenever we play, you know, each other or whatever, um, we can have those logos. That'll be cool, but I, at the moment it's just not working for me uh, when I'm trying to edit the logos. I don't know what it is, but I'm editing the logos, no problem, putting them in the game, and then it's just turning my players invisible. So as soon as I've got that sorted out, I will uh, I will make the guide on how to create your own logos and how to see them and everything. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.